You have the spirit gate? It seems my faith was not misplaced. It is my honor to introduce Ivrain, daughter of Shades and emissary of Ini. Admiral Spire, you have done a great service today. Your actions have set Fate's river flowing upon a new course. What I did, I did from duty. If that is truly what you believe, now you will deliver the Spirit Gate to my representatives. By the Cursed Nine, he will not! Inquisitor, what is this? This Spirit Gate is a tainted Xenos artifact. It falls under my authority. It shall be quarantined, studied, and dissected. No, this cannot be. Without the Spirit Gate, Admiral Spire, this Carrion Eater does not see the wider truths at play. He does not understand. Deliver the Spirit Gate to us. It is vital beyond comprehension. Inquisitor, perhaps we should... Hi, Admiral Spire. By the authority of the Inquisitorial Seal, I command you to place the Xenos artifact in my keeping. We cannot afford to be imperiled by Xenos Guile. The Spirit Gate remains with us. Callow Primitive! You wear a cloak of kinship, and then steal from us! This shall not go unpunished! Energy flare from the Eldari vessel. They're making a run for it. No! Open fire! All weapons! It's too late, Inquisitor. They're out of range. Not for long. We have tolerated the Eldari presence long enough. We shall purge them from the stars. See to it, High Admiral. I have made study of the traitor Drang's effects. Amongst them, I found reference to a craft world hidden in the Caliban sector. Interesting. So the sacrifice of the Silver Dawn was not without merit. So it would seem. Craft world Ostara must be the staging post for Eldari raids in this region. Its elimination will bring respite. Better that we had made them allies, perhaps. There can be no lasting accord with the treacherous Xenos. Mankind must stand preeminent. Only then will there be order. But it must be soon. My business on Terra is not yet done. I will tolerate no further delays. I will make preparations for an assault. Admiral Spire, desist. Can you not see that this is what the Arch enemy seeks? To set our fangs at one another's throats. My duty is clear. You cannot be permitted to interfere in the Emperor's affairs. Such arrogance. And with so little cause. If you persist in this action, all who follow you shall die. I do not fear death. For the Emperor stands with me. Then come. Your doom awaits. At last, the Eldari stronghold is within our grasp. This shall be a glorious hour. This will not be easy, my lord. The craft world dwarfs our largest vessel. All things are possible with the Emperor's blessing, High Admiral. There can be no forgiveness for what you are about to attempt. We will sweep you from the stars. Punctual only to your demise. Fate frowns upon fools such as you. Ignore them. This ends now! I don't like this. It's too easy. We have the numbers. Why are they fighting? It matters not. Hold to your duty! All vessels, proceed with caution. The Eldari are not without their tricks. Again, you choose the wrong side. Alas, that this is so. Alas, that you fall into my snare so easily. I fear age is catching up with you. Alas, that you talk, when you should be fighting. Energy flare from the craft world. What now? All vessels, brace for impact! Not homilies. Can we?
Can we engage the craft well? Negative. Its range exceeds our own. But the energy expenditure indicates a long charging time. We'll have to punch through the blockade before it can fire again. Agreed. Take us in. to engage. They're trying to keep us back. Clear a path, High Admiral. I have aboard a complement of cyclonic torpedoes, more than enough to cripple that Xenos vessel. Understood. All vessels, close to attack range. Secure the area for the Righteous Fury's arrival. The Craft World's batteries have fallen silent. It is likely the energy conduits are drained. Readings show historical damage to the craft world. It does not matter. This is the best chance we're likely to get. Inquisitor? I concur. We are inbound. Our alliance was all that could have kept the Dark Gods contained. You have doomed us all. Enough of your lies. The truth is forged through faith and valor, as is the future. Would that were so. You cannot deceive the consequences of your striving. Then you never will. Almost in range. Do not fail me now, I Admiral. All vessels, you heard the Lord Inquisitor. Protect the Righteous Fury. of the Emperor's retribution. Fire the cyclonic torpedoes! Do you suppose she was right? About the Alliance and the Dark Gods? Blessed Emperor, I hope not. Otherwise, we are the architects of our own doom this day. The Eldari were purged from the Cadian Gate through the efforts of Admiral Spire. It would be many generations before they dared return. Listening posts report no trace of Eldari activity. Then the craft world's destruction was the decisive blow we required. A pity we could not have found common ground. Not that we need the aid of Xenos to protect the Imperium. Eh, hey, my lord? True enough, Commodore. But still... This feels like failure. Admiral, my thanks for your prompt arrival. We are here to provide assistance, Master Osmadiel. We need only your precise location. Transmitting now. Confirmed. The identification ciphers are old, but correct. Relaying coordinates to the strategium. Old codes. That's unusual. Duty has carried us far from the rock, Admiral. I would not expect an outsider to comprehend the burden. We have dealt the traitors a heavy blow. It would not have been possible without your aid, Admiral. I go where the Emperor sends me. As do we all, though some paths are less direct than others. You have my thanks. Admiral Spire. Master Korahale. 
I thought you slain in Cadia's death throes. A common misconception. By order of the Supreme Grandmaster, I demand you join your blades to ours. In what cause? You harbor a traitor in your midst and cannot recognize him as such. Assist us now, and your folly will be forgotten. So it has come to this. I should have known better. These wounds are not to be healed no matter how far they lie in the past. There is no redemption for your kind. Only the absolution of death. I don't understand. What? No explanation will serve you well, Admiral. You have no part in this battle. If you have any respect for the deeds we wrought together, you will stand down. It will play out as it must. No, Admiral Spire. Your duty is plain. You must fight. Waiting on your orders, sir. I had hoped for greater wisdom from you, Admiral. But you are as blinded as he. Ignore his ravings. Doubt is an insidious foe, much like he who wields it. Mercy, but it is done. You made the right choice, sir. Did I? To choose suggests I understand what was at stake this day. Despite his claims, Osmadiel was a traitor. One righteous deed cannot unmake the sins of old. In these dark times, it might serve the Imperium better to fight with unity. You cannot comprehend the severity of this situation, and I have already spoken of it more than I should. But there is some truth to what you say. I place my fleet at your service, for now. What was that about? I suspect we'll never know. And it might be wiser to forget this ever occurred. The vengeful spirit's barely scratched. Have faith, Commodore. That vessel has plagued the Imperium since the days of the heresy. No longer. As you say, my lord. Wait. A new fleet has warped into the battle zone. It's... I suspected you would not have the metal to see this ended, High Admiral. We shall finish the despoiler together. Can you believe that man? Inquisitor, I am gratified that your recall to terror has ended in so timely an hour. It'll be a pleasure to fight alongside you once again. The Emperor calls us to glory. Do not disappoint him. At long last, at the cost of countless millions of lives, Abaddon the Despoiler finally met his end, and a debt owed since the darkest days of the Horus Heresy was at last repaid. But his death could not undo the legacy of devastation he had wrought. The Imperium would face other battles against the Dark Gods. This was no ending, but a new beginning. Cadia had fallen, but its name and legend lived on. Warriors of mankind, the Emperor has tested us, and we have not been found wanting. By his will and our faithfulness, we have journeyed through darkness, through fire, 
and now emerge into the brilliant light of a new dawn. But that light shines only so long as we keep it fed. Through our sacrifice, through the valor of the Imperial Navy, mankind shall endure. There is no peace in these stars, only a crucible of war in which our faith is forever tested. Our service we owe to our comrades, our lives we spend for the Imperium, and our souls, now and forevermore, belong to the Emperor.